tonight we are in the McNamara Alumni Center and we are about to begin the 2006 Etiquette Dinner. It's a very popular event. We typically have over 400 students that attend this event every year. It's catered by D'Amico and Sons here and so the, the food is great and it really gives students a chance to learn something that I think in a lot of ways they wouldn't otherwise get into their sort of first foray into getting a job and, and being successful on a job, maybe interacting with clients. And so it's really helpful information for them. So we will start with our salad course and work all our way through dessert. And in, in between, I'll be helping students on which fork and knife to use, how to, where to place their napkin, the salt and pepper, and really all the logistics and working through this meal. First of all, they're not too make a point with, they're not to orchestrate with, right? Anything. Manners are just some rules, some guidelines to the road so that in fact they can focus on what they're supposed to be doing. And I just think in this uh, kind of fast-paced world that we live in, um, etiquette has become more and more important at least even at the um, college level. As a uh, college student, I'm looking to uh, improve my skills for potential business interactions. I've been wanting to do this for four years, but this year my, my schedule finally worked out that I could uh, attend it. I don't think if I ever have anything that might be, uh, I do have to go to dinner like this, it might put me a step above the other people who are against me. In eating, from a rating scale of 1 to 10, probably a good like 1.5, 1.6. It's probably a 4, and probably a, a 8 is a lot of it, it goes back to that McDonald's generation where we've now been eating in cars and eating out of plastic and not even using silverware a lot of times. And so kind of the art of the dining experience has kind of gone to the wayside.